create separation in the second and third quarters? Uh, they closed the quarter really well at the end of the half. Um, made a little mini run going into halftime, and then they made a couple threes to start the third quarter, and we actually just missed some shots that were wide open. So we, we were the process was good, and they got a little separation right there. But credit to our guys, we got down to 10 with four to go. So we made a nice push at the end. Um, so I was really, really happy with that part. And I think this was the most we saw Tristan on the court. What, what stood out to you about the game he had? Uh, you know, he's, he's kind of fit in. We're throwing him out there. We're discovering a lot about him as we're, he's been coming part of our group. But he's, you know, he's got a good skill set. You know, obviously he can space the floor, but he uses his length at the rim uh, to protect and good basketball IQ. Brian, Anthony Gill has been good for you in, in a couple games in this kind of last stretch of the season. But what did you like from him tonight? He tied a career high. Oh, that's great. Um, he, uh, he has great intangibles. Like, Anthony is always ready. Um, that's the one thing you can say about Anthony Gill, that when his numbers call, he's ready, he's going to produce, and he's going to be able to execute the game plan. And we always have complete trust in him. Uh, you know, thrilled that he had it. It seems like a career night for him. But, like, he's been doing this every game and every opportunity that he's had. And that's what we expect of him, and he does it. Brian, how do you feel about uh, the team's readiness to play and, and just its overall approach after last game? Yeah, I, I, I thought our process was good tonight. I thought the ball got a little sticky and the movement wasn't as great last game. Um, I thought tonight that our, our process was good, especially offensively. 27 assists. I thought we were really moving it, and we didn't shoot the three like we usually did. Um, guys that usually make shots did not. So I thought our, our ball movement, our pace was great. Um, I thought our defense was, you know, coming and going at times, fouled a little bit too much. But overall, I thought our approach was right. It was good. Coach, what have you learned about guys like um, Jules Bernard, Jared Butler, Anthony Gill, even uh, over these last few games when they've gotten increased minutes? Uh, that that they're ready when their opportunity is called. That they're professionals. Um, that when we need them, they step in and they produce and they do the right thing. Um, we talked about this quite a bit, but it's a huge credit to our players, but also our development system and our use of uh, the go-go. But that's the one thing that's been super positive about everybody who's needed to contribute or called upon. They've always been ready and very professional. All right, everybody. Thanks. Safe. We'll see you guys soon. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.